Toyota has been working on its EV fighting weapon. It's got a, a basically a weapon that it believes can help it to decrease the spread of electric cars. It's called a hydrogen pickup truck. It says it's the future. Anyway, Toyota says it could be on the road within only a matter of years. And of course, the Hilux is Toyota's most important vehicle. If it can get you to drive a hydrogen powered Hilux, maybe it can make it the world's most popular vehicle. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Toyota has introduced the new hydrogen powered Hilux pickup to the world. It's actually been working on this car, this truck, this ute now for years. It's put a lot of money into it. It's put a lot of money into hydrogen and it hopes it will pay off. The truck, Ute, uses the core components from the company's commercially available Mirai hydrogen powered car and has a range of over 600 kilometers, which is 373 miles between fill-ups, if you can find a place to fill it up. And that's the big challenge here. So Toyota are partnering with an oil company to try to build out more hydrogen refueling stations. Now, I don't know exactly where that's gonna happen, but that's their plan. The feasibility of a production model is being examined, but Toyota say it's definitely got the green light. So maybe your next Toyota Hilux will be powered by hydrogen. I don't think that's very likely, but Toyota think that that's the future and that we should all get on board with this. So when will you expect it to be for sale? Toyota says it will happen by, I don't know, between 2028 to 2030. And the reason it's taking longer than what they'd hoped for is that they need to bring down the price. Now, Toyota know that you're not going to pay double the price for a hydrogen powered version of, basically for a hydrogen powered version of today's Hilux. They know that people don't want to pay that much money. So they need to work on getting the price of the componentry, the parts, the hydrogen fuel system down. Because right now it's quite expensive. To make this current vehicle, it costs twice as much as the existing diesel petrol gasoline powered version. At a time when car makers and world governments are moving closer to a world dominated by electric only automotive cars and trucks and um, even semis, Toyota has stood out against being going EV. And really they actually have done more lobbying against EVs than any other company in the world. And this has come from uh, official organizations that actually track this information. Chief in this criticism was Toyota's Akio Toyota. He's the current president of Toyota. Now he said that he given up his power. So he's no longer the CEO. He's assigned the CEO of Lexus to become the CEO of Toyota. But actually he then appointed himself to grand overlord or president of Toyota. He said that he was among the silent majority of the world and of the automotive industry who say that EVs are not the way forward. That actually it's hydrogen. And surprisingly, uh, BMW have even said the same thing. BMW believe, it's in particular BMW executives and even their engineers believe that EVs are a fad. They're kind of like a, a thing that's on trend today, but it won't be long until, well, the 2030s they say is when hydrogen will take over EVs and become the global fuel of the all of the world. And we will basically be using hydrogen to get ourselves around. Toyota's words may have led to some voting against Toyota, Toyota himself, as in Akio, as the chairman of the company. But of course, Toyota themselves as a company have brought out a bunch of different electric concepts. So they've revealed 24 different concept cars, and that's kind of appeased investors for the time being. With the hydrogen Hilux, Toyota is committing to the concept of having different types of fuels. And they say that, you know, by 2030, only around 20% of the vehicles they sell will be fully electric. The rest of them will be uh, hybrids, plug-in hybrids, uh, hydrogen powered vehicles, and I don't know, other stuff. Now, Mr. Bean, he's a big um, proponent, Rowan Atkinson, he's a big proponent of hydrogen powered vehicles, and he's been driving around in a hydrogen engined Toyota Yaris and Toyota have actually been working as well on hydrogen engines. Now this is not a hydrogen engine vehicle, but Toyota have been investing on hydrogen engines with Yamaha and they believe that that is also another good option. So this is a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. It has a battery and it has a hydrogen fuel cell system. And the key question a lot of people have been asking me, they're saying, but um, how much does it cost to say replace the hydrogen fuel cell when it's used up? Because eventually they do have problems and you need to replace them. 
I don't know exactly. It's hard to get that information. But I do know that someone in Europe had to replace the fuel cell in their, I believe it's a Toyota Mirai. And they were quoted a price of $100,000 to replace the fuel cell. And that could be because there's not many of them around. I don't know. But they're very expensive at this point in time. This Toyota Hilux, which is powered by hydrogen, has three high-pressure fuel tanks to store the hydrogen. They send energy to a hybrid battery mounted underneath the rear low tray to avoid encroaching on passenger space. Unlike the hydrogen fuel GR Yaris that was shown at the Goodwood Festival of Speed, which used basically an internal combustion engine that's tuned or specially made to run on a very, very high compression ratio using hydrogen fuel. It's basically an engine and it sort of runs at incredibly high ratio in order to produce an efficient burn. The Hilux generates electricity from a fuel cell rather than burning hydrogen in a conventional internal combustion engine. So it's like what we're saying, the Toyota Mirai, sort of like a plug-in hybrid vehicle. Toyota's engineers will mention the Hilux range they say is impressive. It has 373 miles of range, which is 600 kilometers. They say that's significantly further that can be achieved with a battery electric system. However, we already know that the Rivian R1T has 410 miles of range with its max pack battery. And Tesla appear to be bringing out a Cybertruck with uh, well over that range of 400 miles. So I think there'll probably be about 10 to 15 different truck, electric truck models by 2025 that have more range than this hydrogen powered Toyota vehicle. So Toyota are not really telling you the truth if they're telling you that EV trucks will have, or EV utes will have less than 373 miles of range because they in fact will have more than that eventually. Regardless, the Hilux is the latest example of Toyota's hydrogen power. And they're saying that this is also a solution for commercial applications. Now I should point out within the last two months, the biggest trucking companies in the world, of course, Volvo, Mercedes, Packard, you know, Kenworth, some of the biggest in the world, even those in Europe, have committed to investing billions, in fact, more than $50 billion into electric trucks. So it appears as though even the trucking industry is going electric. However, JCB did recently demonstrate its own hydro mod, fitting one of its hydrogen engines to a converted Mercedes Sprinter van. And it's true that a lot of trucking companies are also working on hydrogen powered trucks as well. They just haven't really taken off the same way that electric trucks have. The hydrogen powered Hilux was developed as a feasibility study between Toyota Motor UK and Toyota Motor Europe, funded by the UK government. But other partners include Ricardo, ETL, D2H Advanced Technologies, Thatcham Research, and Toyota Motor Corporation, of course, haven't worked on this as well. But keep in mind as well that Toyota has invested billions into hydrogen production, into the Mirai. They're currently investing a huge amount of money into hydrogen production in China. And there's been a lot of reports on this. They say, uh, the Chinese government and a lot of Chinese officials say that Toyota has committed to massive hydrogen production centers and to hydrogen production facilities in China. So they want to use these facilities. They don't want the sunk cost loss. They don't want to have created something that they're not going to use. So I believe Toyota will, as a result of that, continue to push hydrogen vehicles. That said, the sales of hydrogen vehicles have really gone nowhere within the last 10 years, and it doesn't appear as though they're getting any cheaper. So the combination of being expensive and not many fueling stations outside of California mean it's probably not going to be a practical product that will be around anytime soon. Now, what are your thoughts on this? Would you consider buying a hydrogen powered vehicle? Is this something you would personally consider? I'm really interested to know if there's people out there that want this kind of vehicle. Personally, I don't think it makes sense, but some people do. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.